Right, guys, let's run you through this rig. You're looking to take eight or ten inches of stiff filament. Make sure it is stiff filament. Just snip that off there. And try and bring your two ends together. It's important you do this. Bring your two ends together because you're going to be poking that through the eye of the hook any second. You note the position of which these uh, these tag ends are going through the hook. Make sure you get that right. So as you start pulling this through, pulling it down, you'll see there's a, a default loop appearing. And you're going to pull that right tight down onto the eye itself. And it doesn't matter if you've got to just shove it about a little bit, but you've got to make sure that knot is, is, is down tight, tight as it can be. You don't know stretch giving away in this later down the line. So you've now got the, the starting of a of a super stiff chod rig. You can see springing away there. Twice the strength, twice the spring. And that's due to the double strand. Grab yourself another 10 inches. And form yourself a loop. We're looking to tie a grinner knot over the hook, therefore incorporating the hook into the knot itself. You want to be looking to turn this round through three to four times. Once you start playing with this rig, you'll, you'll, you'll find the right amount to suit your your own style of rig time. It seems fiddly, but with, with everything in rig time, you eventually find your groove. So once you've taken it around there three or four times, start pulling the tag ends together. Pull them as tight as you can both ends. I mean, you may want to put this into your teeth now and give it a good old pull. Because you want that knot really down tight. Once you've pulled that tight, snip off the tag end. I don't think there's any need to blob this particular one on the back that the formula would be, but again, that's your choice. Get a bait screw ring. A bit fiddly. And I'll let that slide down into position. And you'll see this is where we're going to go back on ourselves to start forming the D. little bit fiddly again so you need to try and move them tag ends out of the way so you're able to poke your D tag through the eye, back through the eye. And as you can see it's just starting to pull that down in a position. Lovely, look at that. Again just pull that D down into the position or the shape that you most prefer. Snip that off, and again, this is this is probably one where I'll, I'll definitely tag it or definitely dumb it down with a lighter, because this is acting as the bun. So just blow that out. Use the lighter just to dab that, to bung that, so that D tag cannot pull back through. Start to take shape now. Get a ring swivel. That's an interesting knot, this one. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple, but it's very, very important 
that you uh, that you realise that you're going to be when you pull this tight, you are going to be gaining another another centimetre. It's an overhand knot, but you've got to make sure your tag ends are coming out the right way, as you can see. Through and then up back towards your hand. Pull in this tight, tight as you can. Again, use your teeth, draw it in. So you've got about three quarters of an inch there, but you're gonna watch this now, watch this pull. That's just given another centimetre. It's important at this stage you get all the stretch out of that double filament. Because of a because it's the double filament pulling down tight onto that ring swivel, it's going to have a burning motion, and um, I've never ever found that I needed to blob that particular knot. Not when using a double filament. Got your makings of a rig now. So just push the start and then screw your pop up into position. I've never ever known of or seen a pop up off of one of these screw rings come off. So just bed that down, bed that down tight and then start taking a little bit of shape. Take your time in getting this and getting this right. It's important you, you're gonna, you wanna get the right kind of shape. And that's it in its making now. See, super, super stiff, double the filament, double the strength, and that's just gonna rock back into position every time. This makes perfect. This key here, obviously, when you're at the lake side, is to is to check that you're using the right amount of putty. I'll just dab away, add some, take some off till you're happy. The slow settling chod, the fast settling chod, wherever you prefer it. So there you go, the super strength, D-rig, chod-rig.